Can you talk about Michael's play tonight? From the start, he was pretty much a man out there. Yeah, that's, just, that's exactly the word for it. He was playing like a man, a man amongst boys. <laughs> Dominating. I mean, you see what he could do tonight. Is, is this like just kind of tip of the iceberg what he can do here? You think? Um, yeah. I mean, if he puts his mind to it and works hard every day and practice, I think this is what he could do. Yeah. Right. Right. It looked like he was, he was winded in the first half. I mean, he was getting up and down the floor so much, you know, trying to play yeah, the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was kind of winded, but Coach kept him in there. He was doing so much. It was just like rebounding, scoring a lot. So, I mean, how could you take something out like that? Right. Uh, you guys get up 18 though, in the second half. It looked like, you know, you could finish from there, but they, they made a, a run. They knocked it down to either six or five at one point. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Kyle and then Jamel hit the, the two big three back to back. Um, I mean, we just had to keep our composure. I mean, we've been in that before. So I mean, it was basically just, it was basically just stay um, composed and um, take care of the ball and just walk by. I mean, finish the game off. Jamel's three was right at this shot clock. You found him right. Shot clock was, I think, at one when he let it go. Yeah. I mean, that, that seemed like kind of like the backbreaker finally. Yeah. Um, I drove to the basket and I seen that his man came to me. So I knew he was open, so I just passed him the ball. And I know he could shoot, so it's going on. Yeah, he's made those before. Yeah, definitely. When you have a player like Michael who's having a great game, how did that change what you do? Are you looking for him even more? It makes it a lot easier. Um, people don't like to step off of him when I drive to the lane, so then I have the lane more open for me. But if they do, then I just have to throw it up and he'll go get it. So I mean, it's, it's easier. It makes it, it makes it a lot easier. Then I got the shooters on the side, and then Leho can do the same thing. So it's like any given night, it's, I mean, helping it's a lot of pieces. Helping your assist totals tonight, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two guys in double doubles. So as I'd say about the offense was really clicking tonight. It's the most points you guys scored in a couple of years. Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, we just um, we buying into the system, and everybody's just working out, and um, everybody's just gelling. So it's going well. How important was it to get that first you know, conference opener? Very important. Yeah, get some pretty good teams. Yeah, we haven't well, we haven't won the first game in the conference in a while. <laughs> and uh, well, I think since I've been here. So I mean, <laughs> I mean it's very important. New perspective. On it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, quick turnaround. You got Niagara on Sunday now. Okay. Last I heard, they were losing by twenty to Marist. So. Lost by eight. Lost by eight. Okay. And at Maris? Uh, I'm not sure where it was. was uh, at Maris. At Maris? Yeah. Hey, Maris got everybody coming back. I mean, they're older now, so I mean, we can't sleep on nobody. This is college basketball. Thanks, Scotty. Great game. My career high tonight. Um, looked like you were pretty much having your way. You know, pretty much most games, especially the first half tonight. Just pretty much just want to run the floor. You know, it's our first league game, so we just want to give our, our, our home crowd, you know, uh, some more excitement and uh, pretty much play hard throughout. We we had a pretty good practice throughout, uh, throughout the, the past couple of weeks, so, you know, uh, we just brought that to the game tonight, and that's for sure. I'm just glad that we uh, have the opportunity to get our first league um, win back at home. Scotty said when you're on a roll like that, or when a player's on a roll like that, they, you know, they obviously want to keep looking for him. Was it as easy as you made it look in the first half? Um, yeah, pretty sure. You know, in the first half, um, I pretty much felt that I couldn't be stopped, but um, we're not satisfied. Um, we, we still have work to do tomorrow. Uh, we, uh, we, we've been in the gym practicing, getting ready for our Sunday game. You guys get up 18 and then they make a run, you know, which you know, almost every team does, but they get it down to about six. You guys got big threes by Kyle and Jamel back to back and kind of pretty much sealed it up there. Yeah, we was, yeah, Coach, um, Coach was telling us that we, 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 we have a tendency of celebrating too early. And, uh, and, that, and that showed again tonight, and uh, we just have to work on that stuff tomorrow in practice. The offense has you running the baseline a lot. Guards penetrate, penetrating seem to be looking for you for the alleys. Is that something you guys work on yeah, in practice, that's or it's just a look? You know, that, yeah, that's, that's, that's something we work on in practice. But, you know, at times, if we don't mention it in games, I kind of just got the look, and you know, you know what to do. <laughs> I lost track. You know how many you had today? Four? Four or five. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, well, it's right around there. I guess you'll see it on the tape. I guess. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, good to get off to a, a good you know, start in the conference. And you got uh, Niagara coming up Sunday. It's a good chance to open up 2-0. Oh. Um, talk. They lost tonight to Marist. We'll talk about that a little bit. Okay. Well, I don't know uh, much about both schools. But, you know, um, 
it's just pretty much, you know, we have to move on, you know, tomorrow we'll work hard in practice and get ready for Sunday. We look forward to that, to that win as well. You had another uh, large group of fans there for you tonight. Is that going to be a... Oh, yeah, they will be back here Sunday. Come on, baby. We're good? You know what? Mike told me before the game he was going to play well, and he had a great week of practice. I'm going to tell you for the first time, every day he went really hard. You know, and that for him is probably uncharted waters. So I told him before the game that you're going to have a good game, Mike, because you've done this all week and you really prepared yourself for these games. I didn't know, I didn't know it was going to be that yeah, good. That was my next question. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. He even said he, goes, he felt like he couldn't be stopped in the first half, especially. Yeah, well, when he had a lot more gas in him at the beginning of the yeah. game. And, you know, he, just, he was telling him, Coach, no one's going to stop me tonight. You know, and he just played like that. And he, uh, the impressive thing is he rebounded as well. I just scored 14 rebounds. Right. That yeah, was huge. A guy, you know, this is a guard league. And stuff, but a guy like that can be really change the fortunes here you know, quite a bit. Absolutely. You know, it gives us another weapon where you can go inside out. I mean, he loosens up our guards, right? And then if our guards are shooting well, it loosens up Mike. So they kind of, it's almost like a pick your poison when we're, when we're clicking. And I think tonight we were able to score inside and out. It was, we couldn't stop anybody, so it was a good thing we scored a lot. <laughs> um, Scotty and him teamed up for quite Scott a few of those. Yeah, it's got 11 assists, I think the one turnover. Yeah. And just make, when he, you know, when he's looking to dish it, he ends up playing a better game. Because he'll still get his points, because he's good enough to do that. And it just makes everyone else better around them and he keeps the defense on their heels. You know, um, and that's what he did tonight. He found, found a lot of our guys and especially Mike and he finds a layout. So he, he really looks for those two well on his penetration. And he still gets the kick outs to our shooters, JJ and Kyle, for knock down shots if you leave them. Yeah, it looked like the, the back to back like trees by Kyle and JJ, especially JJ since the clock was running down. Yeah, it was that huge. seemed to be like the dagger final. Yes, it was. It was. You know, we, we kind of, I think we have a habit if we have a lead, we rest on it thinking that the game is over too early. And these guys don't realize yet how to step on somebody when they're down and, you know, just being more aggressive at that time because the other team is in a desperate situation. So they're going to come with more energy. So if we let up and they give you more energy, they're going to narrow the and start a bank shot by one kid. We missed two uh, one -on -one front ends and one-on-ones. They scored two more hoops. And what was a comfortable lead is now a game again. Yeah. You know, basketball can change like that. Yeah. And at uh, one point in the first half, the ref went by the table, so the track meet is on. Is, yeah. Are you happy or something like that? Is that That's want? how we want to play. And, you know, I actually was looking forward to this game because I watched them on film and saw how they like to run. And I'm like, that's exactly what we're about. And you know, in fairness, I think that's what we're trying to get to. They've played together longer than we have in that system. And I think we need to get more of those easy baskets. Uh, you know, we got some, but not as many as I would like. And going forward, we want to keep getting better at that. But it's a fun way to play. It's a good game to watch. It's basketball. Obviously important to get that first conference win. Yeah. A quick turnaround to get Niagara, who lost tonight. So Yeah, they're going to come in here very upset and angry and fired up because when they lose the first one, you usually get their attention back as a coach right away. And uh, it's never going to be easy. They're another athletic team, another team that plays similar style to Canisius. And uh, it's going to be another tough one. It's not, no easy ones in this league. Thank you, Thanks, Appreciate it.